Hi gamers, after making a list of the most anticipated Metroidvania games of 2024, I decide to make a top list of current Metroidvania games while we eagerly await those releases. So here are the top new Metroidvania games you can play right now. Some of you maybe disagree with the ranking, but that's okay. All I know, this game is a must play for Metroidvania fans. Alright then, without further ado, let's get started. Seriously? Convergence, a League of Legends story, is a Metroidvania action platformer game set in the world of League of Legends. The game follows the adventures of Echo, a young inventor who can manipulate time with his device. During combat, you can utilize your time-rewinding ability to solve puzzles, evade traps, and engage in dynamic and challenging battles with enemies. This gameplay mechanic adds an interesting dimension to the exploration and combat experiences in the game. Lone Fungus is an excellent metroidvania that showcases the potential of solo development. The game takes place in a mushroom world that has been overrun by hostile creatures, and your objective is to free these lands and uncover the truth behind the colonization. The game's exploration heavily relies on jumping, which comes in various forms. Combat in Lone Fungus is also enjoyable, featuring diverse sword combos and sub-variations, and you can deflect bullets with your hat when activated at the right time. The game also introduces a spell system that grants the hat new abilities, such as shooting projectiles and dealing elemental damage. Grime Definitive Edition is a cool game that mixes the vibes of a Souls-inspired Metroidvania with some unique gameplay mechanics and a surreal world full of weird creatures. Players will explore a fractured and brutal world, engaging in fast-paced combat with a variety of weapons that mutate depending on their usage. The main character's unique black hole head brings a cool twist to battles, giving players the ability to deflect attacks for big damage and replenish resources. Playing the game can be tough due to its challenging difficulty level and scarce healing items, so you really need to time your moves carefully and make smart choices during fights. Worldless is a Metroidvania game that shakes things up with its one-of-a-kind combat system and visual style. The platforming and exploration in the game are top-notch, providing enjoyable experiences and a smooth sense of movement. The fighting works like a turn-based game where enemies have turn timers, shields, and health bars. Players need to strategically balance physical and magical attacks while also defending against counterattacks. The combat in the game really brings a lot of depth to the whole experience. But man, this game is tough, especially when it comes to nailing those blocks and dodges. Aslibra Gaiden, The Cave of Phantom Mist is a DLC expansion for Aslibra Revision that introduces a new protagonist, the Baker's Daughter, on a quest to rescue the trapped members of Rispadar's guild from the titular cave. The gameplay is reminiscent of Aslibra Revision, with combat, equipment progression, and magic systems staying true to the base game. One of the highlights of the DLC is the addition of new upgrade systems, such as assigning crystals to stats, and experimenting with different styles for stat bonuses and exclusive skills. These elements encourage exploration and experimentation, offering a fresh twist to the gameplay experience. Tevi is a 2D platform adventure action game that blends together features from the Metroidvania, Bullet Hell, and Hack and Slash genres. Playing as Tevi, a rabbit beastman, you're on a quest to collect mana gears for her father, with the help of two floating orbitars named Celia and Sable. The combat system is pretty cool, letting you interact with the environment to gain an advantage. As Devi progresses, she unlocks new attack combos, making battles more interesting. There's a lively and varied world waiting to be explored, filled with more than 300 items and gear to gather and personalize. Additionally, the game features a risque and suggestive humor that may appeal to those who enjoy such content. Ultros is a great Metroidvania game with unique plant mechanics, captivating visuals, and intuitive gameplay. The combat system allowing players to perform various moves and combos for higher grades. Juggling enemies by launching them into the air and hitting others adds a stylish flair to the gameplay. An innovative skill tree in Ultros unlocks game-changing combat and traversal mechanics, but these skills reset with each new cycle. The game also features a farming component where players can plant seeds during a run and return to find them grown, 
granting access to previously unreachable areas. It is considered a great game for Metroidvania fans, though not as challenging as some other titles in the genre. Momodora Moonlit Farewell is the last game in the Momodora series, a delightful Metroidvania that blends friendship and magic. You play as Momo, a priestess from the village of Koho, who fights against the forces of evil using her sacred leaf and bow. The combat system, which includes a stamina bar, requires precise dodge rolls and allows players to execute visually striking maneuvers with well-timed dodges. Alongside Momo stands Teresa, a companion whose expertise lies in transforming currency into sigils, crucial cards that enable players to tailor Momo's skills and attributes to their preferred playstyle. The Mobius Machine is a thrilling Metroidvania action platformer that immerses players in a vast alien world. The gameplay revolves around exploration, combat, and upgrading. The dynamic combat system allows players to shoot in any direction, utilizing different weapons and gadgets. The game also features a progression system that rewards players with new areas, items, and upgrades as they delve deeper into the game. In addition, collecting schematics and creating additional weapons and upgrades will allow players to become more proficient in combat, enhancing the overall gaming experience. Cookie Cutter is a fast-paced Metroidvania style that doesn't shy away from violence, gore, and humor. The story follows Cherry, a cyborg who embarks on a mission to rescue her creator from an evil corporation. The combat in Cookie Cutter is quick, snappy, and enjoyable, with a wide range of attacks including dodges, special abilities, parries, and flashy finishing moves. The combat system offers plenty of variety. The component system acts as a passive skill tree allowing players to customize their playstyle by enhancing stats or attacks. This adds a level of personalization to the gameplay experience. The inclusion of the Void Meter adds depth, as it enables powerful attacks and healing, but requires careful management. This mechanic encourages strategic thinking during combat encounters, rather than mindlessly button mashing. Laika Aged Through Blood is a thrilling motorcycle ride through a post-apocalyptic wasteland with a unique twist on the Metroidvania genre. It expertly combines intense combat with a beautifully hand-painted side-scrolling world and a gripping story of revenge, desperation, and survival. Laika's combat is seamlessly integrated with the movement and handling of the motorcycle. Equipped with a potent revolver, the main character can execute remarkable moves like backflips and parries while eliminating foes. Every boss has a unique arena, and players must traverse these environments while participating in fierce battles. There are several resources spread throughout the world that can be gathered and utilized for upgrades, both permanent and temporary. Chosen After Image is a Metroidvania game with hand-drawn graphics that prioritizes fast-paced combat, diverse character builds, non-linear levels, and a gripping storyline set in a fantasy world's ruins. The game follows Renee, a young amnesiac girl who survived the attack on her village and seeks to recover her memories and find her mentor. The combat system has great potential, with its talent tree offering many ways to broaden your playstyle and actions during encounters. The game features a bestiary of over 150 creatures, offering a wide range of encounters. Players can equip two weapons, such as whips, swords, and scythes, as well as accessories like capes and rings that enhance Renee's attributes. The Last Faith is a 2D pixel art game that combines elements of the Metroidvania and Souls-like genres. It is set in a dark, gothic world where ancient religions and divinities clash. The player assumes the role of Eric, a mysterious warrior who has lost his memory and seeks salvation from a curse that afflicts him. The combat system requires merciless precision, offering players a diverse arsenal for customization. You will navigate danger using quick dodges, melee weapons, powerful arcane spells, and long-range firearms. This creates a dynamic and compelling battlefield. The game also features a unique mechanic called the Faith System. You can activate the Faith System by filling up a meter with successful attacks and executions. Blasphemous 2 is a decent Metroidvania that suffers only when directly compared to its supremely excellent predecessor. In comparison to the first game, this one is more polished, streamlined, and more emphasis on tight, smooth gameplay combat than the first one. Combat is another area where the game shines. With three different weapons to choose from, each with their own strengths and weaknesses, players will need to master the combat system early on to tackle the increasingly difficult challenges. 
Overall, the atmospheric and challenging nature of Blasphemous 2, combined with the improvements to the gameplay, make it a compelling recommendation for fans of the genre. Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown, is a 2D Metroidvania game that revives the classic Ubisoft title. The player takes on the role of Sargon, who sets out on a mission to locate the missing Prince of Persia, accompanied by a group of warriors known as the Immortals. Combat in The Lost Crown involves parrying enemy attacks, triggering stylish animations that fulfill Ubisoft Montpellier's anime ambitions. With time-bending powers, you can dash and place shadow markers to rewind to safety, adding strategic depth to combat and platforming sections. The inclusion of amulets that modify abilities also opens up exciting possibilities for creative gameplay strategies. And that's it for today! What do you think about this list? If you know top new Metroidvania games that you think deserve a spot in this list, you can tell us in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and make sure subscribe if you don't want to miss another great list. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.